Wahe Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guruji Ki Fateh. We at Basics of Sikhi hope you enjoyed the Guru Arjan Dev Ji animation as much as we enjoyed making it for you. If you haven't checked it out yet, then what are you waiting for? Click here and come back to this video to hear five facts you may not have known about Guru Arjan Dev Ji's Shahidi. Fact number one, the Guru saved Wazir Khan. No, 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 not the Wazir Khan from the time of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. This Wazir Khan loved the Guru. When Chandu told Emperor Jahangir that Guru Arjan Dev Ji was in Lahore, Wazir Khan was sent by the Emperor to call Guru Ji to his palace. Wazir Khan bowed to Guru Arjan Dev Ji and told Maharaj that many years ago they were suffering from edema, which gave them constant pain and a bloated stomach. One day, he heard a Sikh recite in the Sukhmani Sahib prayer. Lo and behold, his pain was taken away. When Wazir Khan found out this prayer had come from Guru Arjan Dev Ji, he went to see the Guru and said, your prayer of Sukhmani Sahib took away my pain, but can you help with the bloating? And Guru Arjan Dev Ji said something really cool. They said, go and ask Baba Buddha Ji for help. Now Baba Buddha Ji was doing seva at Sri Harimandar Sahib and they said, why have you come to me? Guru Arjan Dev Ji has all the power to get help from them instead. They told Wazir Khan they were really busy and to leave them alone. As Baba Buddha Ji asked him to move out of the way, they bumped into Wazir Khan with their basket. Baba Buddha Ji had so much power that even a nudge by their basket was enough to heal Wazir Khan's bloating. Fact number two, Sulhi Te Narayan Raak. Guru Arjan Dev Ji says that Vahi Guruji themselves saved Guruji from Sulhi Khan. So remember Sulhi Khan who burnt to death in the brick kiln? Well, he had a nephew called Sulbi Khan and it was this Sulbi Khan who was tasked with getting a birth chart back from Guru Arjan Dev Ji. Wait a minute, what birth chart? So Chandu had the emperor's birth chart stolen and blamed it on Guru Arjan Dev Ji. And it was this birth chart Sulbi Khan was sent to get back. But on their way, they were stopped by Sayyad Khan, who was a soldier in Sulhi Khan's army. You following so far? Good. Now Sayyad Khan explains that Sulhi Khan was meant to pay them money before they died in the kiln. And they now wanted this payment from their nephew, Sulbi Khan. Sulbi Khan refused to pay anything and told him to ask Jandu for the money. Sayyad Khan was not impressed and refused to let Sulbi Khan pass. So Sulbi Khan ordered his army to attack. At this point, Sayyad Khan called out to the soldiers and said, look at your general. If he's not going to pay me, then what makes you think he's going to pay you? Sulbi Khan was enraged and swore at Sayyad Khan. Sayyad Khan removed their sword and struck Sulbi Khan, killing him on the spot. Just like his uncle, Sulbi Khan was never able to reach Guru Arjan Dev Ji. Fact number three, the tragic demise of Prithi Chand. Now we all fall out with our siblings from time to time, but Prithi Chand wanted his younger brother out of the picture for good. He contacted Jandu on numerous occasions to help take out Guru Arjan Dev Ji. So Jandu organized a meeting for the two of them to discuss this with Emperor Jahangir. But Prithi Chand contracted Kol on his way to the palace. Now he was on his deathbed in a lot of pain. So you might think this was enough for him to drop his desire for the guruship, right? Unfortunately, he used his dying words to command his son Mirwan not to stop until he got the guruship. And this is the way Prithi Chan's story came to an end. Fact number four, the gurus themselves laid the foundations of sacrifice. Guru Arjan Dev Ji sat in a cauldron of boiling hot water for many hours, a hot plate for three hours, and sat on hot sand which was poured over them for six hours. This torture took place over five days in which the guru was given no food, water, and wasn't even allowed to sleep. All of this in the hot month of Jid. Think about all those who gave their lives for Sikhi over the years when fighting injustice. Take Bhai Diyala Ji, for example. During the time of Guru Deg Bahadur Ji, Bhai Diyala Ji sat in a boiling hot cauldron similar to Guru Arjan Dev Ji many years before. Dera kiya mitha lage. Your actions seem so sweet to me. The Guru and their Sikhs lived by this Shabad no matter the cost. Fact number five, Emperor Jahangir's diary. Emperor Jahangir's diary entries give us a very real indication of how they perceived Guru Arjan Dev Ji. The emperor mentions how Guru Ji captivated many simple-hearted Hindus and even foolish Muslims. Acknowledging the previous Gurus, Jahangir even states that the Guru's lineage had been going for three or four generations and that the time had come to put an end to the Guruship or convert the Guru to Islam. The emperor also talks about how offended he was that Guru Arjan Dev Ji met the emperor's son 
Kusoro with such respect. Talk about family feuds. So there you have it. Five facts you may not have known about Guru Arjan Dev Ji's martyrdom. Let's have a quick recap. Fact number one, the Guru saved Wazir Khan. Fact number two, Sulbi Khan was sent to retrieve the birth chart from Guruji, but he died on the way, just like his uncle. Fact number three, Guruji's eldest brother, Prithi Chand, died painfully from cholera and used his last words to instruct his son to get the Guruship at any cost. Fact number four, the Guru themselves laid the foundations of sacrifice within Sikhi. Fact number five, the Emperor kept a diary which tells us that he saw Guru Arjan Dev Ji as a big threat. Thanks for watching and please forgive all the mistakes we've made in this video. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, then please be sure to let us know in the comments below. Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.